Hello! I'm Liv, this is Liv's Bookshelf, and today we are going to be talking about... So Red Sister by Mark Lawrence is by far one of my favorite books that I've read recently. I feel like Bookstagram has failed me. I did not find this book until years after it was published, and I have been active within the Bookstagram community since I was like, since since like 2009, guys. Um, the Bookstagram and Booktube community, y'all, we gotta start like sharing these really, really good books. Okay, they need attention, they need to be noticed. So what really got me curious about this book series was a friend recommended it to me, and then I went and looked it up and did a little bit of research, and it's actually published by the same com publishing company that published Game of Thrones. So if that doesn't tip you off that it's pretty excellent already, Hopefully this review will, but so, the first half of this video is going to be completely non-spoiler. If you would like to see the spoiler version, then I will put a stamp, time stamp in the description below, so just go check there. Okie dokie. So, Red Sister is about a young woman named Nona. I shouldn't say young woman, maybe little girl is a little better. About the age of nine, and she is accused of murder. And that's about as far as I'm going to go. Um, basically, her life is turned completely upside down and in a fantastic way. She gets to learn all these cool new skills and the plot is just fast and it, it never stops. It's twist after twist. I have never read a book with this many, or a book series with this many um, twists and turns in it that actually caught me off guard. I think I, I read a little too much and watch a little too much TV to the point where I see a lot of twists coming. So if you've read Red Sister, you already know that um, the book actually starts off with Nona at the gallows about to be hung, and then she is saved by Abbas Glass. Yes, okay. I just finished the third book the other day, so there's so many names filling around in my head. I have to say that Abbas Glass, right from the start, was one of my favorite characters. It took me um, a little bit to grow on Nona, and I really loved Clara right off the bat, and she remained one of my favorite characters throughout the series, despite, um, <clears throat> despite everything. Um, Ara, again, also took me a while to grow on. Sister Kettle probably is my favorite character in the entire series. I really loved her. I really loved, um, Raymel. I loved the Regal Taxis plot, and I really loved the whole, um, S.H.I.E.L.D. trial. I will say that I think the first book is very, it's very much an introduction to the series as it should be. And while there is a lot of cool stuff, you don't nearly get the action and adventure that you get in the second and third book once the world and characters are well established. World building, we see a lot of character development, and I honestly didn't even notice either of those things in these books. Not that they weren't there, but that the story was just moving so fast and the plot was so interesting that I didn't have time to remark on the awesome world building, the incredible character development, because it all just fit together so nicely. I would recommend this book to anyone, but especially to some of my more liberal friends and some of my more feminist friends, um, because I don't know if any of you guys watch these videos, and I really hope you do, but this book nailed um, incredible female characters, incredible female vi villains and heroes, um, gay and lesbian and LGBT characters are perfectly done in this, and they don't feel overdone or overdrawn out, and they do not feel fake at all. They feel realistic, and all of the struggles that the characters go through are very realistic as well. Um, everything from betrayal, to money, to friendships, love, hardships, to discretion and abstinence, everything that a real person would go through. This book has every type of character that you could ever hope for. But that being said, about 90% of the characters are female. So you have, you know, females from every walk of life that come into this book, and I really enjoyed that. I really think that he nailed the female perspective, whereas a lot of authors, even female authors, um, tend to overshadow some things or tend to look over a lot of things. He really um, created a character that is inspiring and that young women, little girls, and adults can all look up to at the same time, and that's relatable to both males and females alike. We have reached the end of our video. 
thank you guys so much for all the love and support for the, this channel i can't thank you guys enough for it really means a lot to me and I've met so many incredible people through YouTube and Instagram and I hope that I'll continue to meet you guys because you really put a smile on my face and I hope that I can put a smile on yours. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and maybe as a bonus, go say hi in the comment section.